Seneca Street here in Bushwick and we're stopping in for the closing party for an exhibition with this gentleman right here, Mike Ballou, and uh, we're going to try to snag him and get him to talk to us a little bit about his exhibition, and I believe that the title of the exhibition is What Makes Us Different From the Animals. So the title of the show is What Makes Us Different from the Animals, is that? Yep, that's right. Now, you've been a long time Williamsburg presence on the art scene. You were one of the three or four people that started with uh, Four Walls and what was it, the film club and a whole lot of things over a lot of years. Yeah. And uh, now you're getting a chance to sort of show your own work. Tell us a little bit about your, your characters, your, your animals that you're making here. Well, they started... Uh, Let's take a little walk over here. All right. They started... They started actually... The first one was in 1996 with a performance with Kurt Hoffman. Who's over there? The guy with the glasses? Yeah. Well, they both have glasses, but the guy to your right. Okay. And they were masks? Is that what they were? No, the first one was a head. A head, okay. I made this, Kurt, it was an evening of Kurt's stories and music. And I made this prop stage, by that I mean, it's like, uh, it was just there to look at and all the principles of the evening stood outside of it. But in the middle of the stage was this folding panel section. And every time you'd kind of rearrange these panels and it would be a different picture for each story. But it was a very... It was a very confusing folding pattern, and it was a real contraption. So we had to, I couldn't teach anybody how to fold this thing. So I decided, uh, I got the bright idea of the Friday before the performance to be a bear and do it. And so one told, thing led to another. Well, I told Kurt, I said, look, I got this place I can rent a bear outfit. We'll do it that way. He goes, oh, perfect. I said, but I got to run. It's down in Coney Island, and they're going to close. And so I zipped down to Coney Island. They're pulling down the roll gate, and I said, I'm the guy with the bear. Like, oh, great, here. And they bring the suit out, and it's perfect. And then, uh, and then they bring the head out, and it's Yogi Bear. And I went, like, oh, that's not going to work. So that night, I made the bear head, which isn't this one, but it's pretty close to like that. Now, what do you make your heads out of? Is this uh, paper mache or? No, no, this is. Sculpty this clay? No, this is like styrofoam. Okay. This one's a urethane foam, some of blue foam, and then plaster and paint on top. So, um, so then, ten years later, after the performance, the Athena Foundation wanted Kurt and I, or the Elizabeth Foundation wanted Kurt and I to uh, redo it. So we did, and then a few months after that. I realized I'd like to have some more heads, and so I made a couple, and then they got really intriguing, and it led to, to all the heads. Yeah. So these are all styrofoam with urethane over the top. You can see like blue styrofoam in that one. Now, are these each one of them? Are they characters that go along with your stories? Is that how you develop them, or you just? Nope, just Do them as art pieces in their own rights? They're just sort of like objects that I reassemble into different configurations. These are all individual pieces right now. They're just a big pile. But some of these you can wear, right? Yeah. You can put them on your head? But they don't, they're not very comfortable. <laughs> I wouldn't more, imagine that. I like more as just objects. Sometimes I use them for, you know, speaker houses or... or can we go and look at some of your smaller pieces over here in the little in the vestibule? Now here's some of Mike's <laughs> smaller pieces. Daddy, the plane swerved into the road. Can you get it for us? Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I, 
<laughs> now these are made out of little plastic animals that you sort of cut up and uh, no, join all, together. And pieces are just basically the torso, and um, and I put clay on them. I bury them in clay until they start to reveal something. And I understand they also have uh, built-in sound effects. Some of them do. Okay, that's pretty nice. And you basically just make these as sculptural things, or do you have stories that go behind some of these as well? These are pretty much musings, you know. Okay. We go down and walk down the hallway here, and we'll wrap up with the Fred Valentine. Hola, hola. Uh, well, the tour is working going well. This is actually a nice installation here that Fred has set up. Fred has done an extremely good job. Now I know that uh, when you were doing the uh, the four walls thing, <clears throat> that uh, you kind of were concentrating more on the conceptual and uh, experimental art, and kind of not really into painting and sculpture, the old standard art things. You want to explain maybe your attitude about that? Four walls for me was just like a clubhouse laboratory. It was, and it was sort of a creative act. I mean, it was. You were, you were trying to foster this condition for exchange, mainly through dialogue, but also through projects, too. Like a slide and film. Right, a lot of it was dealing with photography and film and video. and. Yeah, but you would use that stuff, you would use it to, to you know, as a form of exchange. It wasn't like an end in itself. Is that because you're interested in sort of the narrative, the storytelling? That seems to be kind of important for you. Yeah, but not necessarily in a, in a straight way. You know, right. Sometimes the feeling of a narrative is just as important as uh, as an actual story. Just the journey was kind of a f fun thing. Oh God, I love doing it. It was so much fun. Let's walk down here and take a look at some of the smaller pieces. <laughs> Do you title these? Are they untitled or? Sometimes they get titled. The overall, sometimes I'll just tie, title a, a, a suite of work, and these are called pencil holders. Pencil holders. You yeah. know, kind of also the way you've got this uh, the pink sort of shading in here kind of reminds me of maybe some kind of weird conch shell or some some kind of surrealistic shell that I might find somewhere in a surrealistic sea somewhere. And they remind people of other things too. Oh, I'm sure. Especially before I changed it to when I went from peach to pink. When I went from pink well, to peach. No, I just saw <laughs> and I like this piece here. That's one of the pigeons. Is this a pigeon? Can you hear anything out of him? He's got a speaker. I don't hear anything. Maybe the, there's an audio component to the show. Maybe they're off. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything, but I tell you what. Congratulations, we're going to wrap up here. Now you don't have to be embarrassed anymore. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Mike Ballou. What makes us different than the animals here at Valentine in Bushwick? Oh, thanks, Kate. Thank you. <laughs>